SSS officers open fire at recruitment center and chase away doctors seeking job to Saudi Arabia. Armed operatives of the state security service on Thursday opened fire outside Sheraton Hotel in Abuja to disperse Nigerian doctors who were arriving for an interview for medical positions in Saudi Arabia, witnesses told People's Gazette. At least one person was injured and had been moved to a hospital in Mabushi, neighborhood of the Nigerian capital, the Gazette, the Gazette learned. The secret police officers mounted a barricade outside the hotel to block people seeking to enter through Abacha Estate. According to one of the doctors who identified himself as Dr. Olubanjo in a telephone chat with the Gazette, the officers tried to block us from entering Sheraton, but some of us insisted that we were on our way for an interview organized by the Saudi government, Mr. Lubanjo said. But we were forcibly chased away when the officers started shooting into the air to disperse us with threats that they will kill us and no one would punish them. The program was scheduled for 8 o'clock in the morning and many of them had been arriving at the venues as of 5.30 a.m. Wow, he said. Mr. Lobanjo said the organizers later told them the interview had been suspended but wondered why that became the case when a similar exercise held last week at a Lagos, at a hotel in Lagos. A spokesman for the SSS did not return a request seeking comments. A telephone line for Sheraton in Abuja did not connect on Friday morning. Nigerian medical professionals have been on a desperate bid to leave the country following years of incessant strikes over low remuneration and generally poor welfare. They have been moving to Europe Canada, Saudi Arabia, and other countries where they had hoped or where they hoped to get better training and practice. It was not immediately clear why the SSS was sent to truncate yesterday's interviews, which came barely a week after Nigerian Labour Minister Chris Ngige insisted that the country was not in short of supply of medical doctors. The minister said the widespread claims of brain drain in the country's medical sector was false and should be disregarded. Mm, if anything that you know can describe Nigeria's main brain drain for a profession is the medical profession, one thousand percent. The medical profession that's where that's where Nigeria's you know like it can say ninety percent of you know Nigeria's brain drain is from the medical pro- pro- um, profession. So yeah, that claim absolutely false. I mean, you don't even have to read the news to know that. Um. So yeah, thing is, what is what is actually scary about not even scary, but what is, is interesting is that, um, why would the SSS come to open fire, especially when if it's if it's by the Saudi Arabian government, there had to be some agreement with the Nigerian government along the way to allow the 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 Saudi government host something like this. Surely the Saudi government cannot just walk into Nigeria, waltz in, and start something like this in different states across the country doesn't make sense so there must have been an agreement for the nigerian government to allow for this so why would they do that because then it's like why you could have just the nigerian government could have just said no to the idea if you know when negotiations or whatever discussions were being made for the Saudi government came in um the nigerian government could have just said no we do not want this idea we do not want uh, our people to be taken, our uh, uh, skilled workers to be taken. So then, this whole thing would have not happened in the first place. So it's it's it's, it's scary. Um, why something like this happened? I mean, to be honest, with something like this, um, it's not even surprising that it happened in Abuja. Because to be honest, if that happened in Lagos, that would have brought up a whole new thing because you're literally dampening the opportunities that um, that these medical professionals have to go abroad which obviously is a it's better than what they are currently currently facing in the country especially as um welfare is absolutely bad the pay is absolutely not up to standard and and they'll basically get no value for what they're they're doing i mean yes of course they're saving lives but they're human beings they have to survive um so yeah it's it's a it's very much shady. I mean, the SSS, they're doing too much recently. They've just been 
exerting power that no one asked for um and we may get another thing like the ensign's protest which i mean they really turned it to what wasn't it swat but we might get another uprising against the DSS and SSS because they have really been doing a lot. I mean, after NSAS, it's like these people are like, you know what, let's just rebrand everything and still terrorize the people. Um, DSS has just been notorious for so many things. I mean, it's time to it's time to call this, you know, this um body to 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 to, to action and like account and hold them responsible and make them accountable. Because these ones are not out here in the forest fighting Boko Haram, but our hair is you know, terrorizing civilians. Um, GSS, GSS has just done too much. I mean, they are literally notorious for flouting court orders, um, have been in the mix as a main character when it came to, you know, the abduction of Nnamdi Kanu and also the attack on Sunday Goho. Um, it's like that's just the, like, the country's weapon to carry out, you know, extrajudicial activities. <laughs> Um, and they know that they would get away with it, you know. Um, the DSS has been literally fire. I mean, uh, known for murder. They we know that they have killed because with uh, Sunday Boho, two was it two people? Yeah, two people were killed that day, and it was by the DSS because the DSS also admitted it. So the fact that they were not even held responsible for that, they got away with cold like murder just like that. I mean. You've got to believe them, especially in this case when the DSS told the doctors that, listen, leave, if you shoot, you're going to die and nothing will happen. And really and truly, nothing will actually happen. Um, somebody here says, this is childish display by the SSS. Why are they behaving like this? They are always intolerant. Um, what kind of country is this? Security agents that cannot fight criminals are going about harassing innocent citizens. Why are the SSS retrogressing if our government is duly if our government has catered for the welfare of Nigerian doctors, they would not be applying for the white collar. Hey, white collar not. <laughs> uh, white collar jobs at uh, in overseas. Um someone says they should do it via Skype, Zoom or Telegram in the first place. Physical exercise of this nature is not even good for the doctors. E yeah but you can't like i don't know in a country like nigeria it's just best to do it physically to be honest like skype zoom telegram okay you now have to get data um you are probably going to have to scan documents and send documents to prove your qualifications that would just require you know i mean i guess if it's easier that way fine but it you know people don't have access to these things um, we can't just ask you, okay, yes, they're doctors, but then, like, fine, they're not earning enough to assume that, okay, fine, they can have access to pay for these resources. And I'm just saying, I think you doing things online, it, it, it works in a society or in, in a place that is really efficient and um, industrialized and, you know, up there when it comes to technology. That's it. Put what you think about it, so don't forget to like and subscribe.